Hello everyone, I'm Jocelyn, a product manager on the Microsoft Dataverse team. And I'm Mihaela, a principal program manager on the same team. And we are here to talk to you about how to protect and manage your enterprise data that is used in low-code solutions built with the Power Platform. The goal for this session is to empower you to have conversations with your CISOs about Power Platform and Dataverse security. We want to ensure that you understand how the various layers of data security come into play while ensuring adequate controls and permissions in your organization. Security is a multifaceted, ever-changing journey, and we're going to help you stay protected and up-to-date with your business's requirements. We understand that the data protection landscape is changing in the age of AI. Attacks are getting more sophisticated while the enterprise push to leverage data in AI-driven scenarios is growing, leading to greater data access demands. Meanwhile, regulations and requirements are changing to fit these new needs. Given all this, we are going to help you understand how you can keep your data secure. This session is going to be framed by chapters that pinpoint specific questions that you might have. These topics will include protecting against external threats, controlling and accessing data, preventing data exfiltration, getting better visibility for admins, assessing risks, and ensuring compliance. Let's first discuss how to improve your security posture in order to protect business data from risks that originate from outside the boundaries of your organization. We will focus on how to manage risks from malicious attacks and prevent data exfiltration attempts. Let's start with identity management. Enter ID is core to Microsoft authentication and helps by protecting against identity compromise. Enter ID gives the IT admin visibility and control and offers additional security capabilities, such as multi-factor authentication and conditional access. With Enter ID's premium features, such as conditional access, you can create policies restricting user access to only the apps and data relevant for their role. Power of Platform Tenant Isolation allows admins to restrict enter id based connections between tenants via Power Platform applications and flows, including both inbound and outbound control. Continuous Access Evaluations, or CAE, is Microsoft's new approach to managing authentication sessions. Authentication traditionally relies on time access token expiration to revoke a user's access to cloud services. But with CAE, Session lifetime dynamically adjusts based on criteria such as the deletion of a user account, a password being changed, or a user changing network location. If CE identifies malicious activity, an admin can explicitly revoke all refresh tokens for a user, resulting in real-time sessions revocation and the suspicious user failed authentication attempt. Next, there are a set of network security capabilities that you can implement to protect your Power Platform resources. Microsoft Power Platform is a cloud-based service requiring connectivity to the internet. Microsoft published a set of IPs, host names, or service tags representing Power Platform services for you to allow access to. To limit the susceptibility of attacks, these values must be configured in the firewalls or added to the browser proxy settings to access the respective endpoints. IP Firewall is a managed environments feature that protects your organizational data by limiting user access to Dataverse from only allowed IP locations. The IP address is analyzed in real time and blocked if not whitelisted. Organizations typically configure IP firewall to allow connections from their office premises while restrict connections coming from outside. The best practice is to use it together with conditional access to avoid inconsistent policies and dependencies. Via IP-based cookie binding, an authentication cookie is bound to the IP address of a user or device requesting the Dataverse API. Therefore, Requests to reuse or replay a cookie from a different IP address are rejected. Finally, we have recently announced Azure Virtual Network support for Power Platform. Azure Virtual Network, or VNet, enables a secure and isolated environment for your Azure resources 
while allowing you to connect your on-premises network to Azure using VPN or Express Route. Now, you can integrate Power Platform resources inside your virtual network without exposing them over the public internet. Virtual network support uses Azure Subnet Delegation to manage outbound traffic at runtime, avoiding the need for protected resources to travel over the internet to integrate with Power Platform. Virtual network dataverse and Power Platform components can call resources owned by your enterprise inside your private network and use plugins and connectors to make outbound calls regardless if they are hosted on Azure or on-premises. Now, if we look at these options through a different lens, we can visualize how these capabilities work together to enable safeguards at different networking layers. First, as a principle, organization security policies aim to stop malicious users at the front door, even before there is an authentication attempt. There, our layered approach to inbound connectivity security comes in. The recommended solutions in this space revolve around three concepts. Identity with CAE, securing endpoints via data loss prevention endpoint filtering, and implementing network level security via IP based cookie binding and IP firewall. On the other hand, for users that have power platform access and leverage data sources external to the platform, such as Azure and M365, you want to ensure that communication takes place within the boundaries of your private network. Azure VNet provides that secure and isolated environment for your Azure resources while allowing you to connect your on-premises network via VPN or Express Route. Therefore, the risk of data exfiltration is reduced, your compliance requirements are met, and you have the control you need to leverage advanced networking features such as private endpoints, service zones, or private DNS zones. To close this chapter, here are a few takeaways that I want to leave you with, including pointers to public documentation where you can find more details. Do utilize intra ID authentication to confirm identities of those logging in into the system. Use conditional access authentication based on IP address, location, device, or other properties of the user's authentication context. Leverage subnet delegation for Dataverse plugins to ensure that all the traffic is routed through your Azure VNet. Lastly, one feature that we will dive into deeper in a later chapter is connector endpoint filtering. This feature is used to configure the specific endpoint the connections are allowed or disallowed for certain data source types, so you have that fine granularity there. Now that we covered the tools available to protect against external attacks, we will now switch gear and look at some of the ways we can minimize the risks of data exfiltration. We will cover strategies that you can use to proactively limit data access to legitimate intentional users, as well as educate on reactive mechanisms, such as getting more visibility into user activity once the data access is approved. How do users get access to data and assets built on the Power Platform? and how can access be limited based on business use case. Before we jump into that, let's see how user access propagates across the platform, starting with the tenant. Tenant level access is the first level of security and leverages Microsoft Entra identities, as Mahela discussed earlier. This means that the system is looking for users to have an active user account and checking for any conditional access policies that may prevent them from logging in. But not all users that have an active and enabled account can authenticate into the platform, only the licensed ones. Then, next level is environment-level access. A Power Platform environment is a logical container and unit of governance management that represents the security boundary in Power Platform. Many features such as VNet, Lockbox, and security groups all operate at an environment level of granularity from a management perspective. This allows different security requirements to be implemented in different environments, depending on your business needs. Users will get access to an environment based on the security role that they are assigned. Simply having a license and identity is not enough to grant access to an environment unless it is the default environment. We will discuss shortly some strategies to better manage the application sprawl and other concerns that may exist with the default environment. 
Environments that have Dataverse support more advanced security models specific to controlling access to data and services with a Dataverse database. The ability to create and run specific applications and flows is controlled by security rules in the context of environments. For example, one can share a Canvas app directly with a user or with an Entra ID group while still being subject to Dataverse security rules. On the other hand, sharing of model-driven apps is done via Dataverse security rules only. Let's address some common resource access concerns, starting with makers. Routing makers to a dedicated personal environment is a major environment strategy shift that we are enabling customers to leverage in order to add additional security that the default environment does not have. This will significantly help IT to track who is doing what and use pipelines to control assets that need to be shared broadly. Moving on to users, we advise leveraging explicit authentication and ensuring proper hygiene by removing deleted users and ensuring their remaining resources are reassigned. We want to instill that license assignments is not a proper way to control access. Instead, admins should take advantage of granular controls like sharing limits, which can be easily limited to enter security groups for Canvas apps and solution cloud flows, or a specific number of individual recipients for Canvas apps. If you run into issues with user access, leverage troubleshooting and diagnostic capabilities, which will help you to identify permissions, licensing, or role assignment problems. When considering how to govern the guests in your tenant or environment, it is important to note that everyone means everyone. All users in Entra ID, which includes guests and not just members of the organization. So guests are treated just like any other user in the tenant. You should consider if guests with maker permissions is a requirement in your organization and disable that capability as a tenant setting, if not. Then you can leverage conditional access to disable guest access to Power Platform applications like apps and flows directly, while stopping any member from sharing to guests incidentally by disabling share with everyone. You should always be diligent, intentional, and careful by controlling access via roles and permissions, specifically the assignment of administrator roles to guests. From a privileged access perspective, we recommend to limit the number of users that have administrator rights at the tenant and environment level. To support this, Power Platform Privilege Identity Management, or PIM, provides a mechanism to assign and manage temporary access to privileged admin roles. With PIM, organizations can grant elevated permissions only when needed, reducing the overall admin footprint while having visibility into role assignments and usage. This empowers organizations to responsibly track changes and maintain accountability. Moving on from governing user access, let's discuss next, what are some of the ways that you can prevent data exfiltration in your organization? Data Loss Prevention Policies, or DLP, is an environment or tenant-wide guardrail that allows you to choose connectors to block to in order to prevent exposing your organizational data externally through the use of third-party APIs as connectors. DLP is evaluated at design time, ensuring that makers cannot save or test any resource that leverages non-DLP compliant connections. Recent enhancements to stop makers prior to design time, leading to a more transparent user experience, articulating what connections are disabled as soon as possible. Furthermore, work is in progress to ensure DLP checks throughout runtime of app and flows, ensuring full compliance throughout full resource lifespan. We also currently support endpoint filtering for some of our most used connectors, allowing admins to select which endpoints they are comfortable with makers and users leveraging. But we are striving to improve this by adding additional connectors with endpoint filtering support. Aside from that, admins can already use connector action controls for additional granularity on a per environment basis. Given the fact that admins can block certain actions, we now provide granular consent so users know exactly what specific action permissions they're consenting to when leveraging an app that was shared to them. On the other side, with new app access level controls, admins can prevent exfiltration by allowing or blocking applications or services like Excel from running within an environment. Securing access to the data is critical to securing highly sensitive business data. Access to data is controlled by the assigned environment roles, the resource permissions, and the Dataverse security roles. Dataverse has a rich security model to protect the data integrity and privacy of users while promoting efficient data access and collaboration. You can combine business units, role-based security, 
row-based security and column-based security to define overall access to the information that users have in a Power Platform environment. With role-based access control, you can easily define access permissions and govern data access in a scalable manner. Using a variety of out-of-the-box customized security roles, your permissions can be granted on a database, table, or even specific record level. Dataverse even enables fine-grained access controls to manage authorization and data level security roles that define row, field, hierarchical, and group protection, which provide the granularity and flexibility required for securing data used in applications that use highly sensitive business data. Finally, Microsoft Purview Data Map is a unified and automated solution that can discover, classify, and label sensitive data across different data sources and domains, including Dataverse. Labeling with Purview Data Map enables organizations to automatically classify the data and easily identify sensitive data. With Purview Data Map integration for Dataverse, you can reduce the manual effort and human error involved in labeling data in Dataverse by using predefined rules and policies that match your business and compliance needs. Dataverse uses role-based security to group together a collection of privileges. These security roles can be associated directly with users, or they can be associated with Dataverse teams and business units. These privileges provide users the access to records in Dataverse tables. Dataverse security roles are crucial to ensure that you only valid users are provided with the ability to read, write, modify, or remove the data. Next, let's make sure that the guard layers you put in place are respected or are on par with the organization's security and compliance goals. Power Platform enables different levels of logging and audit for users, administrators, and application activity. These logs are collected into the M365 Purview Audit. From there, Microsoft Power Platform admins can use available applications such as Microsoft Defender or Sentinel to monitor certain types of security threats or build audit reports using the available APIs. Having continuous, more holistic threat detection and the ability to apply preventative guardrails is crucial to enable frictionless productivity while minimizing cyber risk. Microsoft Sentinel offers a single pane of glass for threat detection and incident management across the organization. With a Microsoft Sentinel solution for Power Platform, you can greatly enhance your organization's security and compliance posture through proactive monitoring and protection. Leverage intelligent security analytics for enterprises, providing your security operations center analysts with a single pane of glass for threat detection and incident management across your organization. There is an enhanced visibility into detected threats, including details such as the name of the suspicious app, the environment it belongs to, the user who created or modified the app, and more. Finally, Sentinel also serves as a detection mechanism of various suspicious activities, such as unauthorized execution of Microsoft Power Platform apps, suspicious data destruction, mass deletion of Power Apps, phishing attacks, Power Automate flows activity by departing employees, addition of connectors, updates or removal of data loss prevention policies, just to name a few. You can find the entire set of rules in the Microsoft Sentinel for Power Platform public documentation. Before we wrap up this chapter, let's recap some of the best practices we recommend when it comes to protecting assets sensitive business data from risks rooted within the organization's boundaries. Make sure access to resources is limited to only necessary business users by using the comprehensive set of role and privileges in Dataverse instilling sharing limits, assigning security groups to environments, and routing makers to dedicated developer environments. Educate your makers with welcome content. Manage at scale with proper environment strategy that includes connector management or data exfiltration prevention policies. 
For managed environments, configure a solution checker to automate analysis checking for best practices rules. When it comes to storing business data in the Microsoft Cloud, the top of mind concerns are security and compliance. Let's see the capabilities that are available to address them. Encrypting your information renders it unreadable to unauthorized users, even if they break through your firewalls, infiltrate your network, get physical access to your devices, or bypass the permissions on your local machine. Encryption transforms data so that only someone with a decryption key can access it. Microsoft Business Cloud services and products use encryption to safeguard customers' data and help you maintain control over it. By default, Microsoft stores and manages database encryption key. Alternatively, Power Platform provides customer managed keys, or CMK, to encrypt the data. Organizations can provide their own encryption key and have full control on procedures to protect or replace the encryption key. In addition to environment level control, CMK is applied to all types of data sources that sit behind Dataverse, including SQL Server, Cosmos DB, and Data Lake. Another aspect to keep in mind is that Azure protects data in transit to or from outside components, as well as data in transit internally, such as between two virtual networks. Azure uses industry standards transport protocols such as TLS between user devices and Microsoft data centers and within data centers themselves. To protect your data even more, internal communication between Microsoft services is using Microsoft Backbone Network and therefore is not exposed to the public internet. Microsoft is committed to the highest level of trust, transparency, and regulatory compliance. Microsoft Power Platform, built on top of Microsoft Azure, inherits the compliance investments we are making in Azure. We have processes in place to guard access to customer data called just-in-time or JIT access policies. This means that access to customer data is time-bound and permitted only after multiple layers of approval. Microsoft operators who are called when customers create a support ticket must go through rounds of review the approvals before getting permissions to engage from a secure environment, which is logged for additional auditing purposes. Our engineers can only perform actions against the production clusters from designated machines that are exclusively controlled by Microsoft Security and configured to prevent their exfiltration. With the introduction of customer lockbox, the Microsoft JIT access process includes a customer approval step. If you enable lockbox for your tenant with a simple turnkey experience, once the operator's internal approvals are in place, they will also have to submit a lockbox request to you for final approval. An email notification is sent out to you about the pending request from Microsoft. The request content will point you to the specific support ticket that is being investigated. It will be scoped to a single environment that you will also see in the request. If you approve the request, the operator gets to continue their investigations by running a command that returns some relevant data that they can use to advance the troubleshooting steps. Finally, all the requests as well as the commands that are being executed meet the right to audit requirement. With Power Platform Lockbox, you have all the audit traces available by default in M365 Defender, so you can track details about the request. Many organizations have a global presence with headquarters in one country while operating business in another. This may require certain Power Platform data to be stored in ladder to comply with local regulations. When Power Platform services are deployed in more than one Azure geography, it's referred to as a multi-geo deployment. In this case, all the customer data is always stored and remains in that geography, unless admin gives explicit permissions to migrate it elsewhere. Trusted around the world across jurisdictions and industries, Microsoft ensures we're meeting data privacy and compliance advancements and standards. Microsoft is subject to regular audits and submits self-assessments to third-party auditors regularly to renew these certifications. We also fully support the European Union General Data Protection Regulations, or GDPR, 
and will delete all data across environments when asked to do so by a customer. Microsoft Dynamics 365 and Power Platform online services are being hosted in data centers in more and more regions, including U.S. government. Government hosting was created in response to the unique and evolving requirements of the United States public sector. These regions provide compliance with federal requirements for cloud services, including FedRAMP High, Department of Defense, or specific requirements for criminal justice systems. So if you meet the eligibility criteria, this is an option for you. These capabilities combine with comprehensive portfolio of compliance certifications in both public and private sectors, enable chief information security officers to protect the entire Microsoft platform deployment at scale, even as more people build apps, automation, and analytics across the organization. I capture here just a small subset of this industry-specific compliance standards that we meet. You can search for the specific standards that apply to your business use case in our online documentation. And now we can take the original questions and chapters that we started off with and frame them with respect to AI, while adding in some additional concerns that have emerged as enterprise adoption of AI is growing. All of the existing capabilities to ensure data security that we have already discussed are co-pilot extensible, adhering to existing DLP policies and Dataverse permission models. There are also additional co-pilot-specific guardrails, too, all while ensuring that customer data does not leave the Microsoft Cloud. We maintain and affirm that no customer data is used to train LLMs. We also ensure full compliance across all of the geographical regions that we run in, ensuring that we are adhering to all government and enterprise guidelines and regulations. We are hard at work to enhance our admin capabilities in the Power Platform Admin Center, with experiences that will enable you to have full visibility of usage, along with new centralized experiences like Copilot Hub that we have on the way as a single source of AI information and governance. We also provide insights into licensing and capacity to ensure good ROI for your organization. Microsoft takes a number of measures to abide by responsible AI principles of fairness, reliability and safety, privacy and security, inclusiveness, transparency, and accountability. Through things like built-in content moderation and ample testing, we are providing safe AI technology, safeguarded against injection attacks, and guided by principles of transparency and inclusivity. In addition to the broad set of security, compliance, and privacy promises that we will continue to deliver on, we are also committed to invest on a set of experiences that streamline the management of security. We understand that without effective tools for assessing and managing security, administrators resort to restricting citizen developers, slowing the pace of innovation, productivity, and business growth. The upcoming release of Security Hub will help administrators quickly assess security posture, identify and act on prioritized recommendations, use high-value tools to detect threats quickly and effectively, and proactively set policies in place to safeguard from vulnerabilities and risks. To shift left security responsibilities and embrace a shared responsibility model, Security Hub will extend maker experiences with product-specific recommendations, providing the visibility and tooling required to build secure and compliant solutions. Ultimately, Security Hub is a must-have for any organization looking to achieve their security and compliance goals with minimal effort and resources. As we conclude in this chapter and this session, keep in mind the importance of capabilities such as CMK and Lockbox to ensure optimal compliance with your region and organization standards, and stay up to date by visiting the Power Platform Trust Center. As you start adopting more AI capabilities with Power Platform, visit some of these resources to learn more about the enterprise-grade co-pilot security measures. And for a comprehensive detailed overview of Power Platform security, be sure to check out the published white paper. We hope you implement these security strategies in your organization. Thank you for watching.